In JavaScript, set timeout and set interval are used to time execution of code at specific intervals. The set timeout method calls a function after a specified number of milliseconds. Additional parameters can also be passed to the function. Here, we can use an arrow function to console log hello after 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds. Alternatively, we can write it like this, calling a function defined below after 3 seconds. We can also pass parameters to the function like this. The function can then use the argument during execution. We can also choose to cancel the set timeout before it is called. Here we are determining if something is true, and if so, we are going to clear the timeout. Notice that we must assign the timeout to a variable so that we have something to reference in our clear timeout. Now the function will not run at all. The set interval method is very similar, except it will run continually until it is either cleared or the window is closed. It too can accept additional parameters to be passed to the function. So here we can console log hello every three seconds. A better use would be a counter. Here we are setting a counter variable to zero. Then we set up our set interval and it will call the function count every second. Count will then log the counter and increment it by one. This will run every second indefinitely. So we probably want to stop it at some point. First we need to assign the set interval to a variable. Then in the function we can evaluate the counter and if it is larger than five, we will clear interval on the count interval variable. This has been a 90 second JavaScript January.